John left his house at 3 p.m. to drive at 60 miles an hour towards Michigan. Phoebe left the same house at 5 p.m., so two hours later, of course, driving at 80 miles an hour in the same direction. How long will it take her to overtake John? Now, John left two hours earlier, but she's driving a lot faster. So at some point, they're going to meet up on the highway. Let me just draw a quick gram over here to show that, to illustrate it. So here's their home and direction towards Michigan. So John's driving leaves 3 p.m. at 60 miles an hour and then Phoebe two hours later just speeds up and they're gonna intersect they're gonna meet up somewhere over here towards Michigan and for her it just took I'm gonna say that for Phoebe how long will, will it take Phoebe to overtake John? I'm going to call this amount of time X. So it takes her X amount of hours to overtake John. But for John to reach the same spot, it will have it will have taken. Is that even grammatically correct? I hope so. It took him two hours longer because he left two hours earlier to reach the same spot because he's driving driving a lot slower. Now we know that time times speed equals distance. So I'm going to make a little chart here. I had already sort of started and it will be a chart for time, speed and distance for the two of them. So for John and for Phoebe. So time, speed and distance. So he's driving at, um, whoops, I was about to put that in time. <laughs> um, he's driving at 60 miles an hour. She's driving at 80. To get to that point where they meet up on the highway, it took John x plus 2 because he's driving slower and took Phoebe just x amount of hours. Now distance is time time speed. So that's going to be equal to 60 times x plus 2. And for Phoebe, just 80 times x. Okay, and we know that the distance for both of them from home to that point is the same. So 60 times x plus 2 is equivalent, whoops, is equivalent to 80x. So here you can distribute this, 60 times x, 60x, 60 times 2, 120, is equal to 80x. Now we can subtract 60 from both sides of the equation. These guys go away. 120 is equal to 20x, because 80x minus 60x is 20x, then you can divide both sides by 20. These cancel out, and x is just going to be 120 divided by 20, which is 6. So it takes Phoebe 6 hours to overtake John. And what if the question was different? What if they asked how far away from their house would Phoebe overtake John? That'd be, qu that'd be simple because we would just need to determine the distance. And distance is 80x. So 80 times 6 would be 480 miles away from the house where they left from, towards Michigan. That's it.